How's it going everybody? So today I'm going to show you how to reassemble the propeller shaft assembly. It's actually pretty easy uh, if you took it apart, but there are some specifics about this process which are going to be really, really difficult. And more so, you're going to find that around the time when you have the cradle uh, reassembled and the, uh, the spring with the detent ball. Those are going to be the toughest parts to this entire re reinstall process. So. Um, we're going to start off simple here, and I'm going to show you one of the, we have two shifty tents over here, as you can see, and um, this is the original one. Just wanted to show you for the um, purpose of this video that we do have both. This is the upgraded shifty tent, and then this is the original. Um, you can tell the uh, upgrade because it has the three valleys in it. This uh, started, I believe, around 1991. Um, mine was in 1990, so. As you can see, I have the original shift D10. This puts a lot of extra wear on your shift cable. So if, you, if you're if you to this point where you're disassembling your propeller shaft, um, you definitely wanna spend the extra money and get this uh, upgraded. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna grab the shaft assembly. One of the things that you wanna pay attention to when we're first reinstalling everything is this little uh, oval space here because when you go to take your dog clutch and install it you need to line up this hole so you can put the um, pin through there so first things first and you need to double check on yours because it should say uh, propeller end um, this way mine does if yours doesn't you may want to also look for the the part that has a serial number because the part, the thicker part, which has a serial number on it, goes towards the reverse gear or goes towards the propeller. So anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn this towards the camera and I'm also going to line it up. There are a few different splines on here, so if you do mess it up, you can just pull it apart. But you see how we, there's a spline uh, in the way, so we just pull it off a little bit and then turn it, just cut it one more over, and then perfect, right? That's that's what you want to do. So I, if you notice, I have everything already greased up and cleaned. That's because uh, off camera, I went, went ahead and did that already. So do the same thing as well. Uh, everything's already pre-greased. Uh, this is the shaft here. So the shaft is going to go inside the propeller shaft assembly. You can see there's there's a hole here, right? So you'll slide it in, and then you want to line it up you can see right through there, uh, through your dog clutch. It goes through your dog clutch to propeller shaft assembly. And then you take the, uh, the pin. And there's an easy way to tell if you did this correctly or not. All right, so just put the pin in there and then try to take the shaft and pull it out. If the shaft comes out, you didn't do it right. And then you can move it back and forth like this to make sure everything's good. All right, so that's that's it. That's your dog clutch shaft on the uh, propeller shaft assembly in a nutshell. The um, the next thing you need to do is you need to put a mechanism in place here which keeps this pin from coming out, and that's what this spring is for. So this is probably one, one of the most tedious. This is probably the second most tedious part of the uh, propeller shaft reassembly is trying to get this spring uh, to start. So basically, easiest way to think about it is, you know, the pokey part right here. Just start it off. Um, in the this little valley first and then once you get once you get this part in here if I can get the uh, my finger in there then just go ahead and, and start wrapping it around and be careful you don't lose your pin pretty easy process but try not to break your your pin in the process of this or sorry your spring and one, one more little pass and we are good to go all right and let's just pop this over with my pick here and boom that's it so now your pin that holds your dog clutch in will not come out the shaft is in place and double check prop end is this way towards your reverse gear is this way and then your forward gear is the other way so that's your first step once you get that completed you notice it's nice and smooth here I got I've got um, grease on there and this all lives in uh, gear gear oil anyway, so this will get grease later on. But definitely give it some pre-assembly um, lube on here just so uh, everything stays nice and um, neat there. So uh, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab 
the forward uh, the forward gear. And you'll know you have the forward gear because the forward gear is the gear that you cannot remove with the propeller uh, with the propeller off. So the reverse gear goes this way towards the prop nut, and then the forward gear goes like this. All right, easy. So check this out. That's how that's how your um, forward gear gets engaged. That's about neutral, and then reverse is like that. So anyway crash course you can go ahead and set it like that the next thing you want to do is hopefully you inspected your thrust bearing you want to go through every one of these little bearings here like I said if you're if you're to this process you need to make sure that this bearing is still good my lower assemblies had no water in it it's been very well taken care of and these bearings are just fabulous so as you can imagine um, if it's still in good condition I'm not going to replace it um, if you want to replace it, there there is a part number you can gather on this. Uh, just ask in the comment field uh, below, and I will show you how to do that if you need um, part numbers. So anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to put the thrust uh, bearing in place first, and then the washer, just like that. Um, that's that's the, uh, the next part. So what you want to do then is double check. Make sure you put a good amount of grease in here. For your bearing assembly because these little these little bearings like to go flying out and uh, this is going to be the very this is going to be the most frustrating part of the prop shaft assembly uh reassembly because um you're going to find you're going to have to take this in and out a few times and you don't want to have to worry about these flying out so anyway the, what it what it looks like when it gets installed is just like that and then you can you can make sure everything is uh greased up real well by Spinning it around like that, you can hear the, the uh, thrust bearing is good and plenty of oil there. So um, as I had mentioned, this is where it gets kind of tedious and it gets kind of tough. All right, so you're going to notice um, one part was missing in your cradle. You cannot put the cradle in the bearing assembly. So this is like I was telling you, make sure your bearings are greased pretty good because if you have to pull it off like I did, you won't lose your um, your bearings in there. So anyway, you stick the cradle in there. There's not really a wrong or right way um, from what I can see. Um, yeah, pretty symmetric there. So go ahead and stick that cradle on and then take your bearing assembly, slide that back in place. Now, it's important to keep the cradle where it has um, the little place where you can put a feet your feet in there. And I say the feet, it's actually these guys. Um, you want to always make sure it's orientated with the hole here, like I'm doing here with the pick. Um, otherwise, you're going to get into some trouble there. So anyway, let me show you real quick what it looks like. All right, so that's what, basically that's what you're going to be looking for right there. Um, this um, lever kind of slide this is what what pushes the dog clutch 